Friday morning there, I just started off with a uh, workout. It was uh, three rounds of nine thrusters, nine toe to bar. That one and then did 21 lateral burpees over the bar. And then another three rounds of seven thrusters, seven toes to bar, 21 more lateral burpees over the bar. And then I finished off with five thrusters, five toe to bar, three rounds at 43 kilos. Wanted to do that first before I get warmed up, or to get warmed up before I head into the back squats that I have next to do. Um, and that did exactly a trick, so I want to kind of get wrapped up again now, get a t shirt on, and uh, pack in these heavy squats next. Oh, so yesterday tickets went on sale for Zach Brain and Phoenix Park, and we ended up getting two of them, so happy days. I think that's on like the 20th of June, and that's actually my birthday, <coughs> the 20th of June. So that'll be a good night. Yes. I've kind of gotten like to a stage that I wouldn't be bothered going to concerts no more. Like I used to go to them all the time when I was younger. I never missed anything at all. Anything was on, I'd be there. But then this last week, I would not be bothered going. But um, I haven't never seen ba Zach Bryan before, so I didn't really want to miss this. Anyways, um, what we're at here now, we've got some squatting to do. We have got three singles to do at 89%. Um, what I'll probably do is do three singles at 89% of member that 144, take it back a wee notch. If that feels good for three singles, then I'll go back up to my old one at max at 160 and do three singles at uh, 89% at well. I'll attempt them. Um, in my head today, I want to do a good lot of back, back squatting. Like, I want to do a lot of squatting today. And um, we'll soon know now whenever we get on it if that's going to happen or not. But that is the plan. If we do get the squatting done and it goes well, I've got push press to do then after that. Um, so that's the plan. That thruster workout was tough. Um, the reps looked small. I was looking at it thinking it wouldn't be too bad. Like, you know, nine, sevens, and fives, but it gets gassy. I was actually glad to get to the burpees, to be honest, because you could slow them down a wee bit and get your rest on there. Right, I only, um, I actually have 128 kilos on that bar there now. I think my legs should be warm enough to be able to do that for singles. So I'm going to go straight on that. Hopefully that goes good. Bump it up then, and we'll keep going then after that. <sighs> right, didn't feel too bad in fairness now. That's one done, two more to go. It's great, and it's only singles, isn't it? <sighs> so as far as the plan goes for the day on the squat, and this is what I've got wrote out to try and hit. Um, three singles, one, two, eight, and we've already got two of them done, so we've only got one left. That's going to be done, and then we're going to bump it up to one, four, two for three singles. Then we're going to do five doubles at one, three, six, hopefully. And that's going to be the plan now. It'd be nice to hit them there, hopefully, we do. Um, one of the sections, see at the bottom, the five doubles, that's actually coming out of the weightlifting piece, uh, the week five. But you no, know, there's like the same before, there's a snatch day, a clean jerk day, a strength day, and then like a mixed day, then a snatch and clean jerk. Well, them back squats are actually coming out of the coming out of the strength day, and that's actually that one three six for the five doubles is based off the one four four. I already wrote that in the book and dropped it down. But again, maybe we could do five doubles off one four four, and then we'll see if we're moving well. We'll go up to one sixty for the doubles. Just the same thing. We're only playing about bit today. I've got nothing else left to do today. See, only squatting. So I want to get as much volume in as I can, as heavy as I can. <laughs> So this is a right out jump at one two eight to one four two. Right, so one more kilo on there. Twenty, forty, sixty, and sixty is one twenty. One forty, one forty one, and one forty two. Jeez, it wasn't too bad, you know. Must watch it back, but didn't feel too bad. You know, it actually felt worse taking it out of the rack, just that initial kind of, ooh. Whenever I squat them, it felt all right. Two more to go with these. Right, that's another one done. I'd say that time only took about 
a minute, maybe rest, 45 seconds. Take a wee bit longer out before this next one. I just like to keep it going sometimes. Whenever you have a wee bit of a momentum going, I try and keep it going. But you just need to watch because it can be detrimental too. Like you could go a wee bit too fast. So oh, I hear Pat scratching at the door. You see? Oh, it is. I'd say he's about seconds away from getting in. Ah, I hear you. Ah, look! Yes, boy! Not more interested in the ball. Ah, oh, there he comes. Yes, lad! What's the story? No coat on you, eh? Too warm? Hello! <laughs> Great. <laughs> wasn't the best now, but still. I would just love to be a good squatter. Like, there's a fella there, um, one of the two boys out of Seek of Strength, I talked about him before, um, Owen and Dara's the other fella. But like the both of them, and especially Owen, like he, he squatted 300 kilos there a few months back. But then he just did like 290 at the weekend, like, and it just looked so good. Like, His squat at 290 or 300 is the same as if he was doing it with an empty barbell. Like, and that's what you're kind of striving to want to get toward. Like, I love watching him squat. I love the seek of strength. If you haven't subscribed to them boys on um, YouTube or Instagram or whatever, I would definitely go and follow them. They're just knowledge bombs, these boys. They're just smart men and really good to watch. But if you, when I grow up, I want to be able to squat like old. <laughs> so that was three done at 142. These ones were based off uh, 144 one rep max, and this was based off 160 one rep max. Now these 5x2s now is going back to that 144, and if we feel good then we will put that 5x2 up and try this again. I haven't worked out the percentage off that, but we'll see what it is. I think, to be honest, it'll be too heavy though, because these 142s are singles. Ah, anyway, strip this down now to 136 and we'll get into the next wee batch. Eva's got the flu. She came back from America, must have picked it up on the, the bird. Right, 136 kilos, five doubles. This now will be, uh, I think this will be tight enough, you know, we'll see. Oh, they're heavy now. But I can guarantee it will not be doing this after 160 nice. Definitely, that's more than enough if we even get through these five sets. One set done, four to go. Um, definitely does feel heavy, but I think maybe I need to take a bit more confidence in day two and like kind of attack the set. Like don't hold back a bit from it. So I want to try that now in the next one and see what happens. Maybe that's a bad idea. No, but sure, you don't find out these things until you try it. So what we're going to do is second set. We're just going to attack it. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, you want your toys out? Here. He'll soon let you know when he wants a bucket of toys empty. There you go. Take your pick now. Good lad. Look at the tail wagon. Loves it. Loves it. <laughs> now, the only thing about attacking them was. Maybe in the way down, you could go down a bit too quick and be a wee bit unstable at the bottom. So I want to just get the balance between that. And like, as Paul Connell chats about, like, controlled aggression. Fucking manic aggression. Did you scare anyone? Did you fucking put the fear of God into anyone? All right, on your feet, on your feet. That's what it should have been. But it wasn't too bad. I'll watch it back now. We felt all right. Just watch that one back there now. The first squat in that last set was way better than the second one. Now maybe that was just a mixture of fatigue or whatever, but I did look to come down and they fast and it seemed to got out of it a bit better. And then the second one was a bit slower and it was a bit harder, so maybe we'll try and keep the speed up now for this next set. Everybody bargain tipsy. <laughs> ah, 
it's easy, they're heavy for me now, in fairness. Like, they feel heavy, but they don't look too bad whenever you watch back. Like, I'm fairly happy with the form, in fairness. So that's good, I suppose. Right, two sets left, eh? A bit slow, but they're all right now. So see there, way I'm saying like, oh, they're a wee bit slow and all this here. And I always tend to look for every set. I think so far, I've looked for the negative. Like, quite Irish thing to do that. If someone says, do you like just for example, someone says like, oh, nice hatch, but yeah, it's an old one I got there for. I just got her for fair to better. Oh, did you get a new T-shirt? Ah, it's an old one. No, can't take a compliment or can't give that wee bit of positive reinforcement. Like. So I should be saying to myself like, yeah, squats is great. Like, you're moving it well. Three weeks ago, you wouldn't have been able to do it as well as you're doing it, so pat yourself in the back and go on. Eh? Oh, yes, boy, the last set of back squats for the day. Hey, all I know is that when I am good and sober, I'm leaving West Virginia for a while. So just to run through what we just did there, right? This was CrossFit program, right? We had three singles at 89%, which was based off 142 kilo, or based off 160, it would have been 142, which we did manage to get, but we started off with basing that off 144 and we got 128. So that was that set of back squat done. Then we went over then to week five out of six on the Olympic weightlifting, and we are down as far as here, back squat strength focus, right? So we're 144 is what we based these doubles at, 95% of that, which was 136. <clears throat> and that's what we've done there. Then. And for the the Olympic weightlifting stuff, if I had been doing 95% off the old 160, we would have left me at like 152 kilos, and I'm just not ready for that at the minute. So that's why we made the right decision to stick to the 144s. Good squat day. Right, for the crossfit stuff now, we need to go back on this, and we're going to do some push presses. <laughs> Right, so um, for these push presses, what we're doing is we've we've nine sets to do, right? Um, first set we're doing three reps at 70%, 70 kilos, and round that up. Um, then we've got two reps at 76, one rep at 82. So it's like ways three, two, one, and then we're going to increase all of them by three percent again, and then the next one's going to go up by three percent. So the first triple is going to start at 70 kilos, and then we're going to end up at a single at 88 for push press. So that is the plan next. So everything stays the same as regards to the reps and we're just putting three kilo on each set. So that first set of three now is going from 70 to 73, 75 to 78 and then 80 to 83. So up we go. Everything meant to be will stay. Are you bored waiting for me to throw that ball? <laughs> Fucking telephones are ruining this place. And a man in New York City told me humans ain't as pretty. That was the second one. It's done, done, done. And now we're up again for the last one. 75 for three, 80 for two, 88 for a single. too bad. Right, that is a uh, training all done for the day, folks. Um, started out lively enough for the save with the thrusters and then back squats and a bit of push press in after that. And a lot of back squats. Now, if there was one thing I would take away from this whole day of the day and what I will be doing from now on is taking like the positive stuff out of it. As I was saying before, like, don't be picking out the negative, saying, oh, slow this and slow that and a bit. Hey, just look, you're moving it. It's better than what it was two or three weeks ago. 
and that's it. So take the fucking positives out of it and move on. Like, don't be so fucking negative. Right, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow Saturday for the next one. Good luck.